You're watching the Bethel College Football Show. I say, brother, you stay home! Brother, 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 brother. Hello and welcome to a special edition of the Thresher Football Show. I'm Dan Page, alongside new head football coach at Bethel College, A.B. Stokes. And A.B. Stokes is not a, a face that is new for a lot of people. He's been in this program before, was an assistant for some years here at Bethel College Football, and we welcome him back. A.B., uh, you know, it was a, such an interesting time. You got to be a part of li a lot of these kids' lives from the early goings at their time at Bethel. But uh, when you look at back at your time as an assistant, what do you remember the most? Well, Dan, first, let me just start by saying, man, I'm, I'm, I'm very excited to be back here uh, at Bethel College. And what I remember the most is kind of what drew me back here, and that's the people. Like, there, there are some awesome uh, student athletes here in every sport. Uh, there are some awesome staff and administration uh, people here, like, and, and that's what it was. I, when I left, I said it was a special place, and I just, you know, took a different opportunity. Uh, but ultimately, that's what drew me back. It's the people, man. The people. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, anybody, you know, from my vantage point as well, anybody that's been here the last few years, they understand that, you know, the people here, you know, maybe, you know, not the biggest group of people ever, but it's the quality of the people here absolutely. that stands out the most. And, uh, you know, I think you had a hand in that at some point. I, I don't know how much credit you want to take for that, but yeah. just, you know, getting some things, some inspiration type things and in some of the student athletes here. Yeah, you know, um, I will say it, the, the people here inspired me to do more. So like, you know, starting up Bethel Worship Center and things like that uh, in the past, uh, but it, it, it was all inspired by, you know, the, the just the heart of the students here and the staff here and just wanting to grow as people and wanting to grow in Christ and uh, wanting to grow in athletics just, uh, this is a place that just, they, they want to see people grow. Matter of fact, I just said, you know, kind of um, our, our growth plan for the football team is going to be, you know, kind of a no, go, gr discover, go. No, grow, discover, go uh, type of thing. And it's all about, you know, uh, knowing God and knowing the people here, growing in that, um, discovering a true pers uh, purpose, and then going out and doing, you know, being the hands and feet of Jesus, you know, going out and doing the work uh, that, that they're supposed to do. And mm. that Bethel College has always, always been a place um, in my mind that has been doing that with their students for years. And um, I've just been an example of that as a, as a person who worked at Bethel College sure. and, you know, I grew in my faith, you know, grew as a person. And then I went out and definitely uh, shared a piece of Bethel uh, with with uh, the former place that I'm coming from, and now I'm just I'm just coming back to continue to to do that work. I remember you being a pivotal part in some of the inspirational things within this football team. You know the kind of the, some of the mindsets that you have with personal relationships with players, but also you know it, you know in times of adversity, you know turn it around and make something good happen, and you know th and things like that. Um, you know just from your time, you know. Was that, obviously that was an important thing for you, and I'm sure a lot of players are excited to have some of that back. Yeah, you know, it's, uh, th this is something that everyone who was on staff, you know, we were all in agreement. Uh, we all brought, you know, this part with us here to Bethel four years ago, and that's, uh, football isn't gonna last forever. And I'm sure you've heard previous staff say it. I'm, I'm sure, you know, it's something that's been ringing in the program for a long time, but that's, uh, Football ain't gonna last forever, mm -hmm. you know. And, and what matters is how you treat people, right? Yes. And that's evident. 
That's evident. And that's what we want to continue to teach these young men. We want to continue to, to share that with, um, with the student athletes that, that we come into contact here at Bethel because you're not going to play forever. You can be an NFL Hall of Famer. And I hope that's somebody goal on our team. Whether it comes true or not, you know, time will tell. But yeah. you can be an NFL Hall of Famer. But at some point, it's going to end. Football mm -hmm. is going to end. And what's going to be left is uh, what, what I'm sure people at Bethel have heard uh, for years to come. What kind of person are you? How did you treat people? What kind of man are you? What kind of woman are you? You know, right. and that, that's just important. Yeah, absolutely, Coach. Yeah, uh, you know, and you, you talked to, there's some players, you know, that have, we've been in the program for a while and they know what that means from the bottom of their hearts and, you know, when they establish that foundation mm -hmm. here. And uh, there's some, it was being that good a person and then that ended up reflecting positively on the football field. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you have guys, um, you can probably name off more than I can, that you specifically recruited to this program that are all American type players, standout players, all conference type guys that are still here today. Mm -hmm. um, you know, just it, those guys were the difference makers. And, you know, I, I think <laughs> there's some credibility going back to you at the same time, but you know what? You know what? What type of what is it about that type of player that you know helps them become that? Well, I'll just tell you, when you when you're doing the right thing, it becomes a habit, mm -hmm. and it becomes hard to do anything else. Sure. And I think other than the right thing. And I think that when players uh, focus on being a good person, right, uh, and and doing the right things, it just trickles down to the football field. Like mm -hmm. you want to be a better teammate. You want to do things right uh, all the time. Yeah. And it's no secret. When you do things right, success will find you. Like, that, that's no secret. Everybody knows what it takes to be successful. And this is what I tell our young men. Everybody knows what it takes to be successful. The difference between those who are and are not simply is a matter of doing the work majority of the time. So yeah. if we're saying that every rep matters in the weight room, but we're consistently missing two to three reps. If we're saying every clap matters in a meeting, but we got three or four guys not wanting to clap. If we're saying every assignment matters, but we've got players who want to only turn in assignments good enough to get certain grades, right? It's only a matter of time until that trickles its way down to the football field. Mm -hmm. And you got guys missing tackles. You got guys taking plays off. You got guys not invested, not encouraging one another. It's mm -hmm. only a matter of time. You can only keep it up for so long. But on the, on the contrary, if you got guys who are doing those extra things to be good, good people, that trickles down as well. Now it's, it becomes harder to take a playoff. It becomes harder not to invest into your brother. Mm -hmm. It just becomes uh, harder to, to fail in a sense. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And it, kind of like what I was alluding to a little bit, some of the names of those guys. I know Josh Siebel is one of those guys yeah. that mm -hmm. you recruited to this program. Um, who are some other guys that people, you know, probably recognize that kind of embody that at the same time? Well, just a couple of guys that you, you can think of. Guys like Logan DeMond, um, guys like Marvin Phillips, mm -hmm. you know, guys like that. I mean, all, the, all those guys were some of the guys who came in that first year. And I'll be honest, I'm sure there's a host more. I apologize if I don't <laughs> remember, but I'm be honest with you, I'm burning at both ends right now. I believe you. you know I believe I mean? you. It's I'm been trying. a busy. <laughs> yeah, but but those are some of the guys who who kind of stick out. Uh, Tanner Gallier being a really good player, doing things the right way. Um, so again, like I said, it's a, it's a it's a lot of guys that I could name, but um, I know this: the the ones who 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 made it through the process, mm -hmm. and you know, we're still here uh, playing and and uh, being, being, being great for the program, um, it was because they came in and they, they bought in, you know, to what these coaches, what, what they, uh, what we were quote unquote selling all those years ago. And they bought in yeah. and I'm glad they did because they invested into it. And I just said it today, a uh, thing about an investment is you, you invest in things with an intention of return. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad that these guys were able to see some return uh, with that being success on, on the football field and the accolades that they've achieved. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Again, Coach A.B. Stokes, new head football coach at Bethel College and mm -hmm. the Threshers. Um, getting set, like you said in a meeting uh, earlier today, Coach, it's going to be an exciting 2022 and yes, a, there's is. a lot of good things. 
um, you know, in store for those that are, are, are buying into, you know, this program. And, uh, I, you know, it's really awesome to see some of those things. But I, I wanted to ask you, I, I've seen you have some conversations with players. Mm -hmm. And uh, ha has it kind of been communicated that they felt reassured when you were brought in to become the new leader of this program? Uh, yeah, that's the thing. You know, I, I would hope that they're reassured that Bethel was going to try to do uh, the best, best thing for them. Um, as people. Um, but again, I, I said it in a meeting today, uh, I want them to rely on their faith right now. Mm -hmm. Just have faith, you know, and continue to do things and allow us to show them as coaches uh, that that the, the, the right people um, are here at the right time. Um, and it's just, if they do that, then eventually they'll, they'll believe in us. And I, I, I have no problem earning a player's trust or their belief at the same time. It's a two-way street. We're telling these players now, we're, we're going to earn your trust and your belief. And at, at, at the same token, I want you to do that for us. Don't miss mm -hmm. class. You know, don't be a kid we have to worry about, is he going to be eligible? Is he not going to be eligible? Don't miss workouts. Don't skip reps. You know what I mean? Invest in one another. You know what I mean? And at the end of the, end of the day, invest in yourself spiritually. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So... Um, I think these kids uh, doing those things, and it's gonna be it's gonna be really hard. You know, the hardest thing to do in athletics is to sustain success. Mm -hmm. But I'm a firm believer that uh, when you do things right consistently, it, it, it's hard to fail. It's hard to fail. So I told these guys it's gonna be challenging. It's gonna be hard. We're gonna we're gonna push them. We're gonna challenge them uh, in every aspect of life. But one, if, if they just have faith in us, and that faith turns to belief. Uh, special things can special things are in the future. I don't doubt that. Absolutely. It's Coach A.B. Stokes, head football coach now at Bethel College. And uh, Coach, uh, you, you retain some staff. That's really important. Um, mm -hmm. You know, a lot of guys that, you know, people are familiar with. And then you bring in some new faces, in a sense, to the program. Um, some of those guys uh, a little bit known to the Kansas area mm -hmm. and, you know, kind of, are knowledgeable of some of the situation um, in the KCAC as mm -hmm. well, um, but you want to run through some of those guys that are joining on staff. Yeah, so uh, I don't know when this is going to air, uh, but you know it's kind of pending, so I want to throw that out there. Sure. But uh, I know they, uh, they, they, it's it's all but official. But we have uh, Coach Jason Greider, head coach at Halstead, uh, very veteran coach. Uh, he's going to be our associate head coach strength and conditioning guy, and he's also going to be our offensive line coach. And again, Jason Greider, I said this in front of, in front of our guys because I have tremendous respect for him, but uh, I'm going to lean on him. You know, I'm going to, you know, I'm trusting him to, to counsel me. He's a, he's a veteran coach, you know. Uh, he, I, I think he has, you know, at least, at least five years, if not ten, on me as far as coaching-wise. Mm -hmm. um, and then Reggie Langford, a Sterling guy, He's going to be the offensive coordinator. He, he just recently was the head coach at Nickerson High School and very, very smart football mind, but an even better person, an even better person. And that's the thing that uh, these two guys, um, were, I, I felt a strong connection very, very quickly. Uh, with Reggie, you know, he and I, we kind of talked about this. Matter of fact, a couple years ago, he almost came to Bethel, and it was because of me, okay. um, you know, trying to get him over here. But he would have been a really good fit uh, with the previous guys. Uh, but uh, Coach Greider, we, we, we just, you know, I, I played against him in the CKL, uh, known, known of him of a, for a long time. Uh, his name was coming up as uh, a person of interest. Uh, we met. Um, and, and talk. Well, we knew each other, but we talked more. And man, it was an instant connection. Um, I believe that hiring him on his staff was was the smartest thing that that we could do. Um, as a you know, one of the smartest things we could do is, is Bethel Athletics. So I think he's going to be great for football, but I think he's going to be great for this uh, this college as well. And and same with same with Reggie for sure. Reggie is uh, again an awesome guy. Very, very smart offense of mine, but again, mm -hmm. like I said, uh, way better, I mean, a, a great man, and I think he's exactly what some of these young men are going to need as well to continue to grow. 
Absolutely. Yeah, and I didn't mean to catch, catch you off guard at all, Coach. But no, I know no, things are still no, being no. finalized. Hey, look, look, look. We, so. we're, on the, we're on the couch now. <laughs> we're on the couch now. So yeah, this, is, <laughs> this is the, the truth couch, you know what I mean? So here we go. Yeah, it, it's def definitely been a different feel, but mm -hmm. uh, honestly, it's just definitely welcomed in, you know, very relaxing kind of thing. But, uh, yeah. you know, it, it's, it's interesting, you know, you talked to the players as a group today and uh, you know what was interesting uh, was that was you know all the priorities that you put in front of them and said you know football was number four or five yeah, there and four. and so it's just kind of like you know I feel like this is a great kind of refresh for some of them mm -hmm. that have you know kind of maybe they haven't um, looked at every little detail of their life and examined it under that magnifying glass and mm -hmm. I think this um, I think personally, it, it's a really good time for them um, to get their minds right because, yes. you know, a lot of times you can't play the, the way you need to unless you have that. Yeah, for sure. I, I mean, I, I think, honestly, I think it's, it's, you know, you can play, but honestly, I think it's just a matter of time before you hit that destruction button. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like, it's just a matter of time if you're not, um, if you're not at peace. And when I talk about peace, I'm not talking about... You, you feel good. I mean, completeness, you know, what mm -hmm. I mean, the wholeness um, in the sense of the word. So that's what we want to do, man. We want to I can't you know, we hope to bring these guys, you know, the the peace of Christ. You know what I mean? Uh, so we, we want these guys to be complete. We mm -hmm. want them to be complete, man, from the, uh, their walk with God, their spiritual aspect, uh, their family. Um, their academics, and then it was football number four, and then everything else. And the reason why I put football there, and I know it seems like, well, you know, there, it's this and that. Well, you, you're here to grow spiritually, right? We want to make you a better, a better man for your future family and your current family. I want, I want yeah. these young men being better sons, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? So, um, and then you talk about academics. You're here to get an education. You're here to get an education. And of course, growing spiritually and growing as a man, um, I, I, I put that at top priority. Education can really be like one C uh, because that's what you're here for. That's mm -hmm. what you are investing into. And then last but not least, but football. You're here to play football as well. So yeah. it, it's not like being four makes it any less important, but it's like taking care of the other three, that's what's gonna, um, that's what's going to make football fun. Mm -hmm. That's what's going to give these guys, I mean, that's what's going to create the environment that uh, these kids are going to remember for the rest of their lives. So, and that, that's all to it. Sure. I'll just kind of close things off a little bit, Coach, with just saying, giving you an opportunity to say something to, you know, some guys that you would want, you know, maybe be interested in playing for this program. Mm -hmm. And what can they expect? from you specifically in this coaching staff and you know this philosophy yeah well i'll just tell you this man uh we're a bunch of guys uh, coaching coaching kids who we care about and it's crazy because you may be thinking if you're watching this coach you just got there a week ago how do you care about these kids and i told this to the to the to the guys that i coach these young men uh, that I coach. Number one, I have relationships with some of them, but the ones I meet, I get attached quickly. I met my wife in the 10th grade. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? We've been married 19 years. So I get attached really quickly, but it's, it's not just me saying that I care for them. It, it is actually the spirit that's within me. You know, I can, I can meet someone and I love them with the love of Christ almost instantly. And w with that being said, that makes me want what's best for these young men. So you're going to have a bunch of coaches, and it starts with the head, who cares about you and want to see you grow and develop in every aspect of life. We want to see you guys grow. We want to see you develop as young men, spiritually, as a family man, in your academics and in football. And this is an awesome place. You're going to make a lot of great, uh, meet a lot of great people, have a lot of great relationships here. And at the end of the day, I think Bethel College is one of the, if not the best small college in America uh, to come play football at. People care about it here. They love it. I was gone. I was doing what I thought was my dream job, and this place called me back to it. And it, you know, it was a process for me and my family, but at the end of the day, it was right. It was right. And I know it was right because this is a special place, and these young men, I've been saying it from time to time, they, it, these young men, 
They deserve it. They deserve uh, everything that's coming to them because they've invested into this place uh, for the last four and less years, the guys who are here uh, just recently, but they've invested into this place and they deserve it. And I'm excited. Uh, I'm excited to go on this journey with them. That's right. So, Coach, past, present, and future, the brotherhood has been here, it's here, and it's here to stay. And so we're looking forward to what it looks like under Coach A.B. Stokes come 2022. I appreciate everybody watching and uh, can't wait to get to a point where we get to see further along down the road what this program is. And uh, for Coach A.B. Stokes, I'm Dan Page. Roll on. Roll on, baby.